So you may be wondering if you are watching this, how you can set up permissions for Bungie Cord without using like an external plugin or something. That's what we're going to focus on today. Today we are going to check out this permission system that's built into Bucket or Bungie Cord. My mistake, Bungie Cord. It's built into Bungie Cord, so you don't actually have to install anything extra. Now, every single Bungie Cord config can change a little, but there's always going to have this permission section and this group section in it. So everyone may be laid out differently, but those are all still there. Those are the two we're going to focus on. So we're going to be focusing on this admin default permissions under permissions here and this uh, groups where MD5's username is right now. So let's talk about how you can add a new group to this so you are able to add permissions of yourself. So by default, it's going to look like something like this. There may be a few like bungee cord command alert and everything. You can keep those. Those are completely fine. You don't need to remove them. And we're going to talk about how you can add things to here, how you reload them in game and how they work like just normally. So what this is saying is up here in the groups, MD5 is inheriting admin. Every single user on your server inherits the default from Bungie Cord. So with this, it's going to in, in, um, inherit Bungie Cord's command server. So in game, I can run slash server and I can run slash list with being in the default category. Now this is with just no permissions. This is on Bungie Cord. So by doing that, you can run those commands. So that gives me the default player with no other group, so I'm not set up here or anything, the command to run those. You don't need these in admin, but I added them here just as a little place to show you what they could be there. There's other commands like bungee command, uh, alert, help, all of that stuff is around here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new permissions group and add our custom permissions, and then we're gonna change our groups up here to be our username and put the groups in there. So we're going to add a new group. This group is going to be called, we can call it like owner. So only the owner with the username that we set will have these permissions. And in this case, I'm going to use my plugin, Bungie HP Alert, to highlight this. Now you can see it's a Bungie Cord plugin. And in order to set it up, there is one permission, Bungie HP Alert. This is a Bungie Cord permission. So we're going to copy this. We're going to add the dash. And then we're just going to paste it in and save here. Once we save here, we can just go ahead and change our group section around here. So let's change the group section up. So we're going to keep MD5's username, but we're just going to replace it with our own. This is case sensitive, so make sure it's exactly what yours is. And then where it says admin here, you can just leave that because we haven't deleted our admin group or anything. But we are going to add owner. And we're going to save the file, and we're going to restart our Bungie Cord server. So we're going to go ahead and open it up, and we're going to restart it. Ignore this error here. So we've saved the file and we're going to restart. Now the downside to using Bungie Cord permissions is you have to restart the server every time you change something and there's no way to add lots of people in here automatically. So this has to be for like high level owners and staff members only. I do recommend using Ultra Permissions, Luck Perms, or one of those plugins that supports Bungie because it's so much easier and I'll do the tutorial on that at some point. So now that we have joined the server, we're going to run the command slash help um, for this plugin it's going to be alert and then a message so you can see we've successfully sent this alert message because we've given ourselves in the config bungee hp alerts um what's it called a uh, permission but if we remove this permission and just leave it as let's say the default we'll just copy this default permission here and save it and we reload our bungee cord once again we're on console here we re reload our bungee cord again here you're going to see when i join the server I'm not going to have that permission and it's going to say no permission. So pretty much what we did is we can successfully add permissions to our configure file for a certain username. Now, not all of the time, um, not every plugin uh, on Bungie Cord uses this. So you can see right here, it says you do not have permission to execute this command. And if I go ahead and add that, um, if I go ahead and add that permission back from our thing, I believe it was bungie.hp use, uh, Let's see, bungie.hp alert. So sorry for the, there we go. HP alert, save, and we're gonna restart once more. And when we start up, it's going, that's the Windows store. When we start up, it's going to allow us to use a command again. So we've successfully done this. But not every plugin, um, any plugin for Bungie uses this. This does not hook into your spigot. Um, this does not hook into your, so if I run it, you can see it works now in the chat. Um, this does not hook into Spigot at all. This is fully Bungie Cord, which means you can't do, it doesn't affect anything on the Spigot server. It expects it, on, it, it um, changes it on the Bungie Cord server. So if you get these messages and you still, and you try and add the permissions on Spigot, it won't work. You have to add it on Bungie Cord. 
Now, I do recommend using Ultra Permissions or Light um, or Lucky Perms or one of those um, to go ahead and set it up correctly so you don't have to go through this config file every time. And you do have to reload it every time you add a group, and you do have to reload it every time you add a player. So it's not really that useful for um, people who are running networks with lots of players because there's no way to add them to the config file easily. So in order to do this, you can use Ultra Permissions or Bungie Perms or one of those plugins that fully supports it. But I wanted to make this video because I've been getting a lot of ask questions recently asking how you do that. So that is how you can add that and set it up. Um, I will add this page to every single one of our Bungie Cord videos on how to set up Bungie Cord permissions. So it's quite simple for you to see how you can do it easily. Or you can use like Luck Perms or one of those plugins, like I just said, to set it up even easier than it is now. And I'll leave a tutorial video coming up in the few days on how to set up ultra permissions for a network-wide server. Thank you so much for watching today's video. My name is Noodles. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.